but I have no idea what I'm doing here. It's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is Centipede on the TI-99 4A and you can see how bad my modulator is. That is rough. Though it, it tends to improve a bit. Oh God, let's just jiggle that wire a bit. It does tend to improve when I've got graphics on the screen rather than text. Press enter to start. Let's let you see, that's better already. Yay! Uh, oh, here we are. Oh yeah! This is good. Oh, I'm liking this. This is how centipede should <laughs> how centipede should play. That's what I'm trying to say. Fast and colourful and loud and and I'm going to die any moment. Ooh, like that. Oh yeah. With sort of pastel colours, they're not really entirely pastel, but you know, near enough. Oh my god! Yeah, this is this is great. Ah, oh. the TI ninety nine four A. I've got to say, is surprisingly competent. I I really like this computer. I need to get a component cable for it because my modulator is rubbish. I mean, maybe I should just get another modulator. Because getting at the component cable input on the back of this telly, where it's positioned, is really bloody hard. And I've got my PS2 plugged into it as well. Um, because the, the, the PAL TI, the, oh god, doesn't support a SCAR output, which is really annoying. Ooh. I don't know why. You can only you can only do a SCAR output on us on an NTSC TI, which is strange because I didn't think SCAR was even a thing in the US. So I don't understand that. Press any key for options. What? I don't want options. I just want to play. Press enter to start. Here we go. go. This is the kind of thing I like. Oh dear, I like to find though. When I'm when I'm playing re actual retro hardware, I do like to go for classic arcade games and see just how well could they. Or how close to the arcade game could they they get? Because 8-bit computer hardware was obviously never anywhere near as capable as the arcade games they were trying to copy. So it was always pleasing if they managed to do a half-decent clone, port, whatever of an arcade game, a good arcade game, and this, yeah, it's great. Ass. I think it's a shame that uh, Texas Instruments were in competition with Commodore and Jack Trammell, he, uh, his computer at the time was the VIC-20, and he, he went into a, a price war with Texas Instruments and basically priced them out of the market. He kept dropping his price, so they kept dropping theirs until they were selling at a massive loss, and they pulled out because they couldn't compete in the end. And it's a shame because this is a vastly more capable machine than the VIC-20. Um, it's a shame that people just opted for the cheapest computer rather than the best computer, or, you know, better. Oh, God! Yeah, I don't, I don't know that they needed to match it on price. Maybe, 
you know, be cheaper than an Atari 400. But not a VIC-20. The VIC-20 is way more basic than this. I like them. Uh, of the 8-bit Commodores, I like the VIC-20 oh God, I like the VIC-20 the most. But um, this is better. This, I like this better than a Commodore 64. I like this way, way, way more than a C16. We won't even talk about that. Oh, God. Yeah, anyway, that is Centipede on the Texas Instruments TI-994A with a dodgy modulator. Mmm, thank you for what... Pfft. Can't speak. Thank you for watching. Hello, today's question for Q&A is from 9EG Steve, link to his channel down there. He asks, for Q&A, what do you wish you'd done that you haven't? Must be gaming related. <sighs> that, that, that's a really difficult question, to be honest. Um, I think mostly it, it, it's finish certain games or spend more time on certain games. Um, I wish I had stuck at original Elite longer and actually reached Elite status, but technology moved on. I got new hardware. I got, I, I got Mega Drive and Snares and Amiga. I started playing Elite again on the Amiga and it was like full flat shaded polygons instead of the wireframe graphics and I didn't really spend much time on it then uh, and going back to the Electron by then it was painful because the frame rate was so low I wish I had reached elite status I didn't I wish I had spent more time on Frontier Elite 2 um, but I reached a point where it was just I couldn't seem to make any progress. I needed more crew and to get more crew I needed more money and to get more money I needed more crew and I, it was just I was not going anywhere and there were other games to play so I played other games um, and that is part of that feeds into this regret I have about certain games I guess I'm lazy or not committed enough, things get difficult to make progress and I'm like forever wanting something new which is not a good thing, I'm sort of past that now but for a long time it was like here's the new game I'll play that, I'll come back to this other one that I haven't finished later and I have got so many games that I haven't finished that I wish that I had um, Doom. Uh, I, I completed Half-Life 2, so not that. I wish I'd finished Doom. I wish I had finished all, <laughs> every GTA game I've played except GTA 5, which I did finish. And I'm playing it again, because I've got it on my new PC, and it looks glorious on that. So I started playing that again. Never finished GTA 4, never finished San Andreas. Wish I'd finished those. Don't really care about Vice City or GTA 3. Um, so many games on PS3 that I didn't finish. There were a few that I did. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare games. I finished those. Um, yeah, not really... Mm, I can't think of any other regrets and things that I'd wish I'd done that I haven't. Um, it is really, wish I'd spent more time and finished more games or seen more. Red Dead Redemption 2, I, I really, not Red Dead, original Red Dead Redemption. I love that game, I think it's fantastic. I enjoy it vastly more than Red Dead Redemption 2 and I wish I had committed more time to it. And I've got, I've got it. I have a PS3 here with it installed on it. And I keep telling myself I'll go back to that. And I don't. Because I've got to learn all those controls again. And I, I can't remember. And I can't remember where I am in the storyline. And it's the same with like No Man's Sky. Um, games like that and Minecraft are terrible for absorbing your whole life. 
and then I, I, I'm like, I step away from them, and then I instantly forget how to play them, and I come back months later, and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing here, and so I give up, and they get left in limbo, and it's a shame, and I wish I didn't do it, I wish I was more, um, disciplined, but I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm looking at that, I've got a shelf unit just there, full of good games. There's no crap in there. And I could pick up any one of those and play and enjoy it and it would be great. Um, but I don't. <laughs> because currently I am... I have lost myself in VR chat. I mean everyone in there calls it a game. I don't know that it's a game. In some ways it is, in some ways it isn't, but it's so compelling that I, I'm, you know, everything else has gone by the wayside. Making videos, it's like, I'm, I enjoy making videos, but I am having to discipline myself and get out of VR chat to do this. Um, and it's difficult, it, it's so addictive. Sooner or later, something else will come along that will drag me out of that. And I, I don't know, will I be thinking, well, that wasn't time well spent. I don't know, because I have friends in there. But, I mean, to what extent can you be friends with someone when all you say is meow? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't think of other things I wish I'd done. There are no games I wish I had played that I haven't, I don't think. Um, I think if there was a game out there that I was thinking, I really, really, really want that, I would buy it. Um, sometimes games come along that I think I really, really, really want that. Everyone's speaking so highly of it, and I buy it, and I'm like, I don't like this. Um... Yeah, and there are a lot that people rave about, and I'm just like, I just don't care. Really popular stuff. I mean, what is that? What is that one that all the kids are playing? Overwatch. It's tons and tons. Overwatch, PUBG, Fortnite. You know, what's it called? There's, there's another one. Can't remember. There's a whole bunch of games, and I think a load of them are free, which is probably part of the appeal, but, you know, they're all hugely popular, and we're in VR chat, all the kids are talking about them, but I'm like, I, don't, I just don't care about that. I don't want to play them. <laughs> but I don't know if there are any really, really brilliant games that I would love that I haven't played. That's the thing. Um... Very, very often I will get viewers say, oh, you should play this. And I have to bite my tongue because internally I'm very, very often thinking, you have no idea what I look for in a game and you think you know what I like and you couldn't be further from the truth. And, and I, I have to bite my tongue because it's no one's fault that they don't know what I'm into any more than anyone else knows what anyone else is into. They just what they're like. They like this game. They would like to share it. And I appreciate that that's, that's what they're doing. So I, I refrain from saying, you've got no bloody idea. But um, it's difficult when you've got a mindset like mine that... I tend to, if someone recommends a game, automatically I don't want to try it. Because nine times out of ten they couldn't be further off base if they tried. But that does mean that I miss out on some good recommendations. Um, so I don't know if there's anything out there that I would really love, but just don't know about it. But you can't tell me. Because if you tell me, I'll be like, great, thanks for the tip. What I'm thinking is, don't tell me what I like. You have no idea. I'm an awkward bastard. Sorry about that. <laughs> it doesn't serve... Well, it serves me well and it doesn't. It means I don't get to spend time on a load of stuff that I won't like. But it also means I'll miss out on the occasional game that I will. Can't have it both ways. Hey-ho. Yeah... 
I think that's about all I've got to say on the subject really. Um, I've just been texted. I'm pretty sure I'm being called back to VR chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gonna stop now. Anyone else who's got any questions they would like answering in a video like this, leave a question in the comments below and begin with full Q&A so I know not to just answer in the comments. Okay, thank you for watching. So I said, you can just stick that joystick right up your... Oh, hello. Um, I'm Isambard Montague the Third, and you've been watching Steve Benway, Retro Gaming Collector. If you'd like to see more of his videos, click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to catch up with some of his 1500 videos in his back catalogue, have a look through his playlists. Right, that'll be 50 quid.